Hi, everybody. I'm out. Moved out to the Hampton Road Show patio. Looks great out here. Actually feels really good right now. The plants and the flowers are in the yard. Our vegetable garden is growing. The next question you may have is the proper way to surround your space. So we've got two experts here. Tony Shannon, Jack Frost Landscapes here. Chris from Seeger's Fence. That's correct. And uh, we're going to talk about the options that you have for surrounding your space. So let's start with Tony. Um, for a homeowner, what are the options for those folks? who want to surround their space? You can go with natural, which um, like we have back here, we have these arborvitaes behind mm -hmm. us, so we can do it with a natural screening, uh, or you can use a fence. So you have kind of two options if you yes. are just trying to block out, uh, vi like visually you want to block out things, or if you, right, or yeah. do you, if you want to actually protect your space from outdoor folks, would you then consider a fence? Yes, absolutely, and then that's when we go okay. to Chris and Sager's fence. Yeah, Chris, let's talk about that. What are the options if someone has decided they don't want to go the natural route and they want something more permanent? Uh, there's a lot of options available today. Um, our more popular option um, increasingly is uh, ornamental aluminum, which we've put up here, and there's also wood and PVC and chain link as um, the, the most affordable option. So we have um, about anything that uh, you would want to put in your yard. Okay, so you said this fence is what type? It's ornamental aluminum. Okay, although it looks like wrought iron, I know you were telling me earlier that's kind of not what we use anymore. That's, well, it's it's more in, it's more popular now and it's more affordable and the powder coating process has come a long way, so it's a really good choice. What are some things that homeowners should consider, that sh they should think about before they put up a fence? The most important consideration by far is what your preferences are. It's a permanent structure, it's going to be there a long time, so you should really put some thought in what you really want and then if uh, if you're on a budget we can uh, find something that'll fit into your budget that you also like. All right, so kind of have that number in your head before you walk in. Yeah. As far as the options of fence that you've shared with us, as far as price right wise, what's least and then what's most? Well the most affordable and probably the most popular choice is uh, the chain link. Okay. Um, and now the black chain link, which is vinyl coated, powder coated mm -hmm. framework is, is also pretty affordable. And then you get into wood and then PVC and ornamental aluminum, which are, you know, maintenance free okay. options. And then I know that there's some things that homeowners living by the water need to think about as far as what kinds of fencing. That, that is correct, and that's that's where in this area where there's there's a lot of exposure to uh, salt water, uh, the corrosion resistance of aluminum is the most popular choice for our homeowners and our general contractors. That's something to keep in mind, certainly, as you make that decision about fencing. And I guess the other thing, too, is homeowners associations. I mean, you, yes. you, know, you usually have neighbors and somebody kind of guarding over you. You need to kind of make that contact first. Yeah, it's, it's important to, yes. to know if you have any restrictive covenants or in this particular uh, case, we had some uh, restrictions based on the, the zoning, the district that we're in. So we had to go with ornamental aluminum, and that was the, the guiding um, decision in, in putting up aluminum here. All right, Chris, how do folks get in touch with you, uh, get more information about fencing options? You can Seagers? look us up in your local yellow pages or go <laughs> to SeegersFence.com. Okay, very good. Thanks very much. And, Tony, I have to ask you, how does the yard look? It uh, looks great. Just need to... Pull up some weeds. <laughs> we talked about that last week. Yes, we did. <laughs> well, as far as maintenance uh, in the dog days of summer, what should folks be considering as they, you know, work on their yards? Make sure you're watering your lawns mm -hmm. or your plants in the evening. It's easier on the plants. Oh, good tip. Yes. Right. I mean, you might think I've got some time in the middle of the afternoon, but that really doesn't do any good, does it? No, it really doesn't. All right. So, Tony, how can folks get in touch with you if they have any questions? You call us at 368-4477 or come in to 3168 Holland Road, Virginia Beach. All right. Chris and Tony, thanks very much. We're going to put all this information at our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. Thank thanks you. for your help.